It's been a busy morning and afternoon. Calls, emails, all that good worky jazz. And I did my nails. Mm -hmm. Painted them. They're very spicy. How did that get there? We don't know. This is from Tom Ford and it's, y'all know the bad word, perfume. Well, this is the nail polish. I don't curse. Unless I stub my toe. No. <laughs> also, I didn't purchase this nail polish. I know it's really, really expensive. It was a gift. Um, normally I would never buy a nail polish this much, but I have worn this a lot. And I will say this is one of the best formulas. Gosh, I wish it wasn't. I actually just said to myself today, I might want to get another color. This stuff lasts a week and a half or more. I love it. And it's just, honestly, it'll grow out before it chips. I just want to do a classic soft smoky glam today. What I'm going to do is I want to make sure everyone is included. So I'm going to alternate between all of the Halloween stuff and just do pretty glams that everybody can relate to. So I want to use these again. I am so impressed with these. I know you're looking at them going, they just look like eyeshadow palettes. Y'all need to remember, I am able to try just about every eyeshadow formula on the market. So when I'm using something again and going, hey, wait a second, you might want to try it. These are really, really impressing me. And like I said, I have all of the eyeshadow palettes, all of them. I'm impressed. Let's start with some eyeshadow primer as always, but then I'm actually gonna go in with an eye pencil. Also, I've really been enjoying this eye pencil from Kevin Oqua as well. So we're going to just start with this. And then we're going in with this, but you're gonna need to trust the process. Always trust the process. So let's grab our eye pencil here. I feel like this is something you see pro artists do a lot. They'll kind of map out their shape with an eye pencil first. And don't worry about it being super black because it's going on top of a base. It's gonna change the color completely. We're just kind of mapping this out and then we're gonna blend this out with eyeshadow. Fun. All right, so let's grab this one right here, this is the deep one. And we're gonna grab that on an E27, right in the center. And I'm just gonna to start to press this on top. And this is just gonna add dimension when you layer it on top of the liner. So what I think I'm gonna do is Kind of keep this pretty soft up here on top. When I say up here, I mean above the line. And then I want to feather it in this way as well towards the lid, but I might need to clean this one up. Now I'm going to switch over to the medium deep palette and I'm going to grab a little bit of that shade. And notice that I picked it up on the side. That way I can just lightly transition this black. See how pigmented those are? So pretty, and I feel like they're so smooth. Just keep tapping it. Bring it all the way over. I love these shadows. So then I'm just gonna take whatever's left on the brush and bring it towards the inner part of the eye. Again with the tapping, and I'm using such a small brush. And I know we think, oh, small brush, it's gonna take a long time, but it really doesn't. It's all about technique, it truly is. And that pressing just keeps everything under control, especially with black eyeshadow. And I just feel like these small brushes, something like this, it just makes so much more sense. And I feel like for so long, we were just taught to grab the fluffiest brush ever and start blending, but it gets out of control so quickly. So all I did to clean this up is I just took that base and just kind of stamped it all over my lid. It was actually what was ever left in the brush. And now, let's wipe off our brush. Just gonna wipe it on Sheila. And then we're gonna grab this color, the one we started with, grab it on the side of the brush. And we're gonna take that right under the black. So fun. Go ahead and take it over this way. Take it over this way. Mm -hmm. 
And then I took this pretty mauve purple, grab that on the side of the brush, and then we'll just fill in the rest of the lid. And then I always leave a little bit of room for liner. It looks very incomplete when you leave it like this, but it does make a difference. Leaving that little bit of space for liner really helps it glide on so much easier and stay more pigmented and true black or true brown. By the way, this is also cool. So to sharpen it, you just put the lid on and then twist it until it pops. And then you twist it back the other way to open it and then it's sharp again. I really like it. So let's just go ahead and run this along. We're not gonna do a wing. And then I'll just grab my E27 again and a little bit of the black eyeshadow and just smudge that out. Can connect it too. Nice. All right, we have to get the rest of our face on before we can smooth out the rest of all of this. I want to be very rounded. Always trying to challenge myself because everything in me wants this to be very lifted and winged out. But we're doing a rounded eye today. I also want to remind you with eye makeup in these tones, it's going to be very scary until the very end. This brings out darkness underneath the eyes. It makes the skin just not look smooth. That's why I feel that I used to gravitate towards warm tones because I could kind of feel pretty throughout the entire process. But once this is finished and we put on our lipsticks and our bronzers and our just all of that, you just gotta see these cool tones through to the end. All right, we're using these lashes here from my friend Lewis's collab with J Lash. These are Are You Picky? So spiky and so pretty. I'm feeling fancy today. We're gonna do Givenchy. This is the glow, the Prisme Lieb Skin Caring Glow Foundation. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be too light for me, but we can fix it with cream bronzer. But I just wanted to see it because I haven't tried it in a long time and I remember really, really liking it. And I also think glowing skin will be pretty with this eye. Just a hair too light. Nothing that our bronzer can't fix. We need a E29. It ran away, hang on. <laughs> Found it. Daggum ran away. We're gonna grab that foundation in the tiniest amount and we're gonna take it through here. And we're gonna start to melt it through there, picking up some more of it. I even go around my brows, tap it in. Notice that I'm tapping it into a more rounded shape. Tap it across. Gosh, that makes a world of difference. Okay, look at this already. I'm gonna do this before concealer in case I get out of control. I can just come back in. But we're going to add our bronzer and I'm using my Laguna bronzer, NAR 03. And I'm gonna go a little bit heavier because I need that depth and that warmth. This looks so pretty. By the way, I know this is a spicy price, but I always go back to this cream bronzer. I really like this one. I really, really, really like it. It's very buildable. And I like how it layers with all of the foundations that I have. It's really nice. Now, I'm gonna do a two for one special. This is a very peachy concealer. This is the Sephora collection. And this is exactly what my under eye is gonna need right now because of how very smoky, dark, cool tone those eyes are. So I'm gonna grab my E29 and I'm gonna start to tap that in. And it's all gonna start coming together now. I'll just use whatever's left to go here. I don't feel like I need a bunch more coverage everywhere else. So I'm really vibing with the Huda powder right now and the reason why is because it adds more coverage and it's a little bit cooler outside. And in the cooler months and holiday months, I don't know, just give me the coverage, give it to me. But I am going to press this in with a Rose Ben Beauty, the setting puff. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do, I 
love this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna do this on my waterline and then I'm gonna take it out of my waterline a little bit. Just kind of pulling it down into my lashes. Let's grab our A27 and go back into this really pretty brown. Tap that into the lashes. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look how brown my eye looks. Okay, so I wanna add a little bit more of that brown this way. But this is important how you pick this up. It's so important. So I'm gonna pick it up in the center of the brush and I'm only gonna do, I really want you to see me just tap in here. It's so important. I'm just going to, now I'm losing track here, tap. I know. I know you're thinking, I know how to pick up eyeshadow. But sometimes we pick up way too much. See how pigmented these are? So I'm just gonna stamp that here and kind of smooth this out a little bit more. It's little things like this that make such a difference later. Ooh, that's smooth. Now I'm gonna grab this shade and we're doing our inner corner highlight. Pretty. All right, we're gonna add some more dimension here. And I have these palettes, which y'all have been asking about these. These were, <gasps> these were sent to me. Ooh, look at that copper right there in the center. Um, this one's obviously, there's this, I feel like there's one more, right? I don't have the other one. I'll buy it if I have to. But let's see how deep this bronzer is right here. We're gonna, I think we'll just use this one. We'll use both of them because we wanna see how deep they are, obviously. And let's go ahead and grab this on a, C40. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, see, this is why I keep my hair up during these daggum tutorials. Make sure I'm grabbing the right one once I'm more of a highlighter. And y'all know that I always like to layer bronzers. It just adds so much more dimension. That's really pretty. Okay, let's put some on my forehead. I like... I was going to say I love to transition bronzers. I feel like this is a beautiful transitioning bronzer. So I'll do a little bit darker bronzer and then I'll use one like the one we're using here to go above that and transition. Transitions are so important when it comes to makeup, whether it be eyeshadow, which is the one we think about the most, but we don't think about as transitioning bronzers and transitioning blushes and even transitioning our lipstick. Now this, one right here feels like this is going to be nice underneath their eye let's try this out i feel like these were really big on youtube many moons ago mm. i don't want to say that i don't love this because some of you might like this okay y'all might like this but for me, I don't like anything that's gonna add any kind of luminosity underneath my eye. I like for it to be pretty matte, and you can see that if I keep adding it, it just, it's, it's just not my vibe. I, I, don't, I don't like this for that reason, and I knew I didn't, but I wanted to try it for y'all. Not my vibe. Might be your vibe, not my vibe. I'll just fix it with the hood. I'll put a little bit more there. Let's try out this blush. This one's really pretty. I feel like I would still use this. I just wouldn't use that powder underneath my eye. That's beautiful. These are pigmented as heck. I like that. A little across the forehead where the sun naturally hits. Sun hits here. That's pretty, and I like how it matches this. I already know. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Please don't let my word be the end all. I want you to like things that you like, even if I don't love them. I just already know that this highlighter is going to be too dark. Okay, so it looks nice when the light's hitting it, but when the light doesn't hit it, do you see how you can still see it? That would look like a bruise here this is going to be too dark for 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 me and i know that these are so popular and everyone really seems to enjoy them they have never been my favorite i prefer other things but please if you like this formula 
please continue to enjoy it. Do not stop on my accord. These just, they're not my jam. I will say I really like the blush. I like the blush a lot, a lot, a lot, but I would buy it individually. The palette I feel like is just gonna sit here. I wanna see what this looks like, the copper in that. I want. We'll try that one as blush too, that's pretty. That'd be a pretty blush. Well, we're still gonna try it. I'm not gonna give up on it because I have them and we don't waste things. But would I personally go out and purchase this palette for my collection? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm feeling spicy, I wanna do a super nude lip. I'm gonna start with Endless Cacao here. And I'll just kind of do a rough draft. And by rough draft, that means I'm not really perfecting it yet. I'm just adding a little bit of color, kind of contouring the lip. And now let's use ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Crush. I'm just gonna do my bottom lip first, and then I'm gonna grab my lip liner again. And before it dries, I'm just gonna shade. And then I'll Tab it in. Mm. This look is um, pretty spicy. I'm feeling real spicy in this look. I love it. Also, I just wanna mention, Jessie does my layers here and the layers are layering. They're layering. I love them. Alrighty, I'm done for the day. I'm actually gonna post the glitter tears here tonight. And then I have to film something for NARS. What is this life? It's amazing. And then I'm going to film another video for y'all for the Halloween series, how to cover your brows. It's actually so easy. I know it's so intimidating, but I think I can help you figure it out. Also want to mention that this foundation is foundationing. <laughs> no, it just looks very, don't look at this. We ruined that. But look at this side. I feel like it just looks very even, very pretty, very glowy, but not shiny. It feels so nice. I really, really like it. I like. I, I think we might keep that foundation out. I love you all so much. I actually have to go hop on that call with Ben right now. I love you with all of my heart. And I'll see you in the comments tonight.